Hi everyone, so here I am live again. This is me Priyanka and welcome to Supra Chat Live with Pri. Um, today I have a very special guest. I have with me uh, Miss Supra National 2016, Srini Shetty from India. Hi coffee geeks. I'll wait for some of you to join us so that I can add Srini Shetty. I have to tell you something about Srini Shetty. She is one of the most humble queens ever. And if you want to be a beauty queen, I think you should listen to this live chat because I am sure you would learn a lot about Srinidhi and of course learn lo a lot about her experiences as Miss Supranational. Hi Tamir, love from India as well. Thank you so much for all the love that you guys shower on us. Hello, hello everyone. Hi. I'll quickly see if Srinidhi is live or she's here. I'll ask Srinidhi for you guys so keep your questions ready. Hi Lana Del Maya. I hope I pronounce it right. All right, waiting for Srinidhi Shetty. Oh my God, Srinidhi is here. A virtual hello to you, Srinidhi. How are you doing? It's been so long, Priyanka. It's been so long. How are you? I am good, Srinidhi. How are you? How are you doing? Tell me. Tell me everything I'm... about you. What are you doing? Great, going on great. I know it's a very unfortunate situation right now. So we are all at home, but everything is great. <laughs> So Shridi, how are you spending your quarantine period? I'm sure so many people must be asking you this question. It's very normal. Uh, so how is your quarantine period going? Okay, before I answer, Priyanka, for all the people who are here um, live right now, so hi, hello everybody, lots of love and all the hearts that's been uh, coming on my screen, so everybody. Well, uh, okay, so... Uh, quarantine, I think it's been nice because uh, we've been doing a lot of work. Uh, I'm staying with my mm -hmm. friends here. So we've been cooking, cleaning, mopping, sweeping. So all of it, proper household, you know, all of that stuff. So I think uh, it's keeping me busy. And um, um, yeah, we all have to follow the rules and regulations in order to be safe and uh, in order to come out of this situation. So I think, yeah, that's staying in is the best solution right now. So that's Definitely. Perfect. I have so many people are saying hello and love, sending love to you. If you can just wave to them. Everybody, I can see so many hearts and everybody. Hi, hello. All of you are here. Thank you so much for being this part of this life. And uh, I hope you guys are all staying inside and you're not roaming outside. Um, well, I think the good thing about the live is people can just sit at home and watch live. And half of the people, I mean, most of them are working from home. So I think it's a good initiative that we're all going live now. And I've seen most of your lives. I think you're doing a great job, Priyanka, as usual. Thank you, so, Thank you so much, Shridhi. Uh, but I, honestly, honestly, I have to say this about Shridhi, that, you know, Shridhi, you have not changed. You know, you are still the same person. And I think anyone, if you want to be a beauty queen or whatever you aspire to be in your life, I think you have to follow Shridhi for the kind of person she is. And I'm not saying it, Srinidhi, because you are sure. I have observed it. I have known you like for four years now and you are still the same person. So thank you so much for being the same person. And I want to ask you how so humble. I, I can see that you haven't changed a bit, Srinidhi, even after being such a big star today. I what keeps you grounded? I don't, I, don't uh, I, I mean, thank you for the compliments, but I don't think... Uh, I am any big star or such, something like that. But um, I think, it, see, this is how I am. I mean, this is how, who I am. And um, it's um, humility, something not that you can get it. Like it's, it's there in, by default, it's there. And you can't um, pretend to be humble, probably. It is, it's just the way you are. And this is how um, I was brought up and this is how I was with my people. So. I don't know how else to be apart from being the way I am right now. I think it has to go to your parents because they have raised you right. And you're a daddy's girl as well, right, Srinidhi? How is your, how is your father doing? All good? He's, he's, he's doing great. Um, I, he's also stuck in another place. He's not right now with me. And I think it's better for, because he's old and I don't want him to travel because it's actually not safe. So I told him just stay back wherever you are. Once things get settled on, then you can come back. 
so yeah he says also oh, shrinidhi yeah it is a very difficult time shrinidhi but i'm sure that you are also learning a lot about yourself because maybe when you were shooting you were not getting time to you know sit with yourself so what is that one thing that you realized uh, during this lockdown period if i may ask you so i think jan feb march um, actually was kind of quite busy because of tra- traveling and i was shooting um, mm-hmm. bangalore hyderabad and all of that so i didn't realize that you know okay there's because you early morning you wake up you go on set you shoot then evening you come back you're tired you sleep next day so it's an ongoing cycle um, so actually you know getting something like this where you're stuck at home um, I start to introspect a lot that you know what yes. are you doing what can you do better what can you learn um probably first two three days you'll just netflix and you know you'll just watch something on television and you're fine but then you start thinking what else what else can be done uh, for example i i thought you know i have to learn tamil i have to learn telugu i have to learn a lot of languages now that i'm working in movies so we have a lot of things that you know you keep thinking that you have to be a better version of yourself so obviously you see what can you what can be done just staying at home uh, probably painting cooking you know some sort of thing so yeah i think it's it gives you a lot of time to just think uh and just introspect what's going wrong what's going right what do you want to learn a lot of time and it's are you also cooking yeah i'm the one who's cooking because both of my friends um uh, actually they are working from home but they do also cook um so i'm the one who actually you know i don't have work probably like an it company or you know i'm not working for any company so i do the cooking part and um, cleaning and washing all of that <laughs> you know we actually this is a time where we actually think hats off to our mothers and all the housewives and all the help domestic help that we get the amount of work that they do uh, we actually didn't realize it because everything was yes. so easy and now it's us who's doing who are doing it so i think probably we know the value right now yes i think this time has made all of us so grateful for what we have the situation is really bad but i think we all are extremely lucky to have a place to stay i mean people are suffering uh, you know but i think we all should count our blessings very true absolutely i think uh, gratitude because i i actually feel that you know um we have place we have roof uh, we have food we have you know the basic things that you need you're you're sorted and there are people who are actually uh, struggling for their daily wages and they are homeless and out, you know all of this corona situation um, there are people in medical community and the frontline workers all the cops police and everybody yes. working tirelessly on the forefront and we guys are just have to be sitting inside that's our duty exactly. uh, to all the people who are struggling outside and, and who are trying to keep us safe um we just have to be grateful and just pray for them yes do you have this urge of going out do you like oh i need to go out and breathe do you get that urge um so basically i'm not a person who actually uh, if not work i don't like to step out i think all my friends will uh, watch for this because they know how difficult it is for me to for them to drag me out ki chalo aaj chalo bahar chalte hai kuch karenge so they know that i'm a very indoor kind of person so i think i don't have that urge but probably it's been quite you know it's been now it's been 25 days that we all been locked down so probably i want to go out and get some fresh air and take a walk or something like that but on the side it's fine i'm i'm good being here Okay, perfect. Shri, the I have some of the fans' questions, so I'll quickly move to them as well. Uh, this is a question from Noa Kova. Her question is: You won the crown in the year two thousand sixteen. Oh my God, it's been four years now, Shri Nidhi. It's been four years. Wow. Now, tell me how your life has changed post winning the super national crown. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's been four years. Two thousand sixteen, December third, that changed my life yes. forever. uh for girl who's been always dreaming about uh, taking part in pageants and winning the crown representing india in an international pageant and winning that crown so obviously it's uh, it's nothing short of a fairy tale for me um how life has changed um definitely i don't know i, I can't even describe because the exposure that you've got the number of countries that you've traveled people you've met from different countries different cultures um the time that you've spent you know in india and outside india yes uh, things to learn so, and, and and plus when you are outside you are representing your country every day every minute that you are out because they yes. they refer you 
who you are you're from india who you are in india so all about knowing about your country how is everything they over there so you know you you have the sense of pride that you are actually carrying india along with you wherever you go um also on professional front i think a lot of exposure i've met so many people i've got a lot of work projects um i think it's been it's been a dream and the dream continues still but uh, i'm so 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 grateful because uh, the people that i've met especially when i came to miss diva the team and then miss supra which is um, a memorable journey that i'm going to cherish forever in my life the team was a gem of the team uh, uh, mr gerard marina and the new people who joined now uh, everybody i think they literally have treated me like a child Like, like, like a you know, like a baby. It's it's not not somebody who just won the crown and who has to do her duties and fulfill her responsibilities. It's it's nothing like that. Uh, they literally have treated me like a family, like like their own daughter. And uh, we had some amazing time. That I'm just. And what do you miss the most? I'm sure because what do you miss the most about them? Because I know Supra National is like a family for you. Because I have heard a lot of stories from you as well. So what do you miss the most about them? ha uh, they they used to feed me a lot <laughs> because they know i love food and obviously i have to be in shape you know i have to be fit and all that i still remember mr gerard our uh, you know our head of our supra organization yes. he told me that uh, you know i'm going to feed you a lot of food the day you pass your crown i'm going to feed you a lot of food and everywhere that i went i stayed um could it be you know the place yes so all of all of those days uh, they have treated you actually you must think that somebody um it, it is someone else a strange person who some from a strange, strange country they have literally treated you like their their own child and they made sure that my comfort and uh, you know everything okay i have to ask you again i think uh, there was some network issue okay um she we were waiting for you i think her uh, internet is a problem but i'll quickly add her Okay, I'll add again. Sorry, I thought I had actually it's in the network, but something is wrong. Okay, okay, I'm back. Can you? Uh, They were missing you. Okay, well, um, so yeah, I think every time I was with the team and everywhere that I've traveled, they have shown so much love. Um, I think I'm just so grateful to be, you know, have received so much love from everybody that I've met and uh, staying with the team, especially Poland. I think Poland uh, was like my second home because I think I've traveled at least five to six times. That was the base of, uh, you know, the super organization team actually works out of Poland. Yes. uh they have taken me around they have you know uh whenever we used to have spare time they, they were like let's chill let's go grab some dinner let's shop so i think it's fun it's really fun. all right now kashmir that you have been a part of the biggest franchise kgf so people want to know that oh, how was your experience working on it and they also want to know about kgf part 2 so many people are flooding it with kgf queen and uh, everything so tell me yeah so many followers you uh, for all my kannadiga fans um ellarigu namaskara ella nam kannada janru yar yar live alli idaro ellarigu namaskara ellaru corona time alli manel kooti idaro anko tin nanu okay that was just telling hi to all my kannada fans uh, well um, i am again once again i think i've just been uh, uh, blessed or just been lucky that Uh, after supra the first project that i landed up with was kgf and uh, here kgf is a brand it's not just a movie it's a brand yes. it's like it's a, it's a brand and being a part of that brand i think uh, and that too, you know being my first movie um, i think i'm just so grateful um, the whole team again it's been now four years that i've been associated with kgf team is i signed the movie in 2015 so 
uh, again it's it's not just the uh, working uh, association it's actually more like a family uh, entire team i think i should thank my producer and director choosing me and giving me this um the entire team i think again it's it's very very uh, a lovely association that again it will be very close to my heart and what can people expect from kgf2 like from your character especially kgf2 is uh, definitely going to be better bigger and grander than kgf1 and uh, kgf1 was just an introduction of every character to show who is what uh, a lot of uh, details a lot of mysteries are going to unfold in kgf2 also my uh, role will have a very important uh, you know the, my character will have a very important role to play which you all have to wait and watch but uh, it's going to be very very interesting but really the wait was worth it you have actually given four years to this film and it has actually shaped out so well uh, like you were not nervous about it that you know what you are waiting for four years because you were at the peak of your career at that time you know you could have got so many other films as well but you waited for this film so when i so, signed this we um i i def- obviously i saw who's the director and um, who's the actor obviously yash is a superstar here um uh, and i saw that i i knew the director's the first work that he had done the first movie and it was amazing i i personally loved that movie so i knew that direction uh, the director has his own vision and i completely blindly believed believed in his uh, vision so um, that you know even if it takes one year two year i knew that kgf is going to be something that um, you know people are going to be so surprised because uh, it actually got the kannada movie to you know uh, to be known in entire pan india i think now it's like yes. everywhere we see it and the whole pan in the whole india waits for kgf2 so um, i i didn't know how this would pan out but i just had my faith um, on the team the director the entire team i knew that uh, they're going to create magic so i'm just happy and grateful that i'm part of this team uh rest the results are not in our hands it's beyond, beyond our uh, control what we can do is just give our best and that's what uh, i intend to do but you have love that like you have actually earned a lot of lovers from that film and you know people look up to you i can see so much of love coming your way and kgf is such a big brand and you are also a brand now shringindi so it's so good to see you do so well and i, I think it's all because you are such a fab person i would say and people are I loving you just uh i think people are just being so uh, uh, so supportive though that was my first movie and uh, i could see the love that everybody are show, you know unconditional love unconditional support um, wherever i see kgf is linked with the name uh, i am so proud to see you know the link to kgf being or the when kgf is releasing and everybody is talking about kgf um, it actually makes me very proud that it's not just my movie now it's like the whole indian movie uh, the people are waiting for it um, again i just don't know i'm just so grateful that i've been part of the team and the people who are actually showing so much love and supporting me i'm just happy and grateful a lot of fans are requesting you to speak something in kannada if you can just say love you to them in kannada maybe they'll feel happy hi yellrigu namaskara yaar adu i i think i just missed the person's name but um, ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆರಾಮಾಗಿರಿ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಡಿ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ Wow, that's great. Now, Shreeti, your life has changed, and how do you look at your childhood pictures sometimes? And you're like, "Wow, is that really me?" Or do you feel like how far I have come? I'm sure we all go through that feeling. But do, what 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 goes through your mind when you look at your childhood pictures or your old pictures? uh when i see my childhood pictures i think uh, i see a very uh, hyperactive child who always wanted to step out do something uh, play um, you know take part in different activities she just didn't want to sit um so i think that's what shaped me to what i am right now um because i just kept pushing myself go out and explore and play and all of that uh yes probably i would not have thought that um, you know i would reach here at this short span or whatever period of time uh, but i did have dreams i was this small town girl with big dreams 
So I I I wanted to take public pageants. I wanted to be an actress. I knew that pageantry will have a time limit, age limit. So I cannot you know take part after one year on twenty five. So I wanted to take part in pageants <laughs> first. Probably explore movies. Uh, luckily, fortunately, as soon as I took part in my pageant and then I got the movie. So everything fell actually on place. Um, but i think uh, i always had this dreams big dreams and it kept though people you know kept um, probably uh, telling that you know these are not meant for you you're supposed to study and just get a degree and just get a job so that your survival is taken care of. so you meet obviously different kinds of people but i think all i want to say uh, that if you are dreaming about something then i think you have to work hard and if you're passionate enough you can reach your goal you will reach your goal if you work hard Well, oh, Amber here wants to know from an engineer to an actor. How does it feel, and what actually helped you reach here? Yes, you were an engineer, Shridhi, and now you are an actor. Yeah, <laughs> electrical and electronics engineer. My God, I had to take the most difficult uh, branch. I could have just taken something easier, but I had to take the most difficult branch. Uh, but I think uh, I'm I'm so happy that. Um, Mm-hmm. Um, I actually completed my education because I remember people telling that anyways, if you are planning, if you are planning to become an actor, it's why you have to waste four years of your time and you know uh, do complete your engineering and all of that. But I think education did play a very important role. Uh, it got discipline in my life. Focus, hard work, work that go through, uh, working together, leadership, and all of that. So I think education is very important. And yes, the journey has been quite. Uh, uh quite tricky because after engineering i did work in accenture for almost 2 years as a software developer and then i thought it's high time i'm not happy with what i'm doing i have to take part uh, in pageants because that's what i wanted to do right from the beginning so yeah i took my chance and i uh, uh i got out of accenture and uh, thank I, god I, thank god you took that chance because we wouldn't have known you shrinidh if you didn't take take that chance so we are actually blessed i i think um, so uh, what worked in favor for me probably i did not have a backup option if it is it this or that so when i was quitting accenture i did not have a backup option ki okay what if i don't get selected in the auditions and maybe there's another option of uh, working in a, another place i did not have uh, option b it was just one option you have to um, crack the do or die for me um, so i think that gave me that boost and that gave me that uh, dedication that you have to do it because usually when you have uh, two options you know a and b and c you know that if this fails probably you can jump on the other one but with True. my situation i did not have that it when i'm quitting the job because it was actually paying it was taking care of my monthly uh, um, you know monthly requirements and all of that so it's it was a huge step for me to actually quit my job and take part in something something so uncertain where i will be selected or not it was very uncertain but i think thought made me reach till here well wow, you took a risk and pretty worked out for you you are a risk taker i must say shreedi yeah it it scares you sometimes but i think you will have to do it okay. any which way you want to fulfill your dreams all right anirudh wants to know if you are planning any tollywood films and who inspires you from tollywood industry so i have to tell you i don't know if everybody knows i am actually doing a tamil movie right now uh, which is called cobra uh, oh yes um, read about it i'm sir uh, I've, i'm a huge fan of vikram sir's work i've been watching his movies so yes i'm doing a tamil movie like you asked um, yes i am actually in the tollywood industry so that's cobra movie and um, the heroes that i like uh, the actors that i like vikram sir because i'm a I'm sharing screen with him, and I've been fan of his work, Onion, um, uh, and also I. All of this, where I could see his hard work and his acting. He's actually a, you know, he's somebody that we uh, here in South after Kamal Hassan, it's Vikram sir. These two are the actors wow. whose acting we actually uh, look forward to. Um, also, I like Talapati, which is Vijay sir. So yeah, these are few people that I like. Okay. Now, Aisha wants to know: Did you see yourself winning the Miss Supernational Crown, considering India won a year back? You want water? Oh, sorry. I was just going to grab. Yeah. Can you please repeat the question? All right. Aisha has a question: Did you see yourself winning Miss Supernational Crown, 
considering India won a year back, Asha Bhatt won in 2014. So, like, did you expect yourself winning the crown in 2016? So, um, since I was a, a pageant uh, crazy girl, so obviously I had followed everything, all the pageants, and uh, Asha also has been very inspiring in my journey. She is also yes. one of inspiration because she was the first one to get super a crown for us. Yes. So. I- Watch. Uh, I used to watch finales, and you know, I used to watch so many times all her interviews and videos and prelims and uh, finales. Um, obviously, with me, I follow this one rule because I I realize this later on. Uh, the initial contest and the competitions that I used to take part, I used to be always worried about the result. Ki, you know, I do this, but I need the results. I need the results. Then I realize that results are something that. is beyond your control it's not in your hands all you can do is just give your best so that you don't regret it that you know you have not put your best foot forward so to me i did listen to people when they were like 2014 me supra uh, crown was already given to india it, it is very difficult it's going to be a sandwich victory you know all of that um i just ignored all of that because i was really not worried about the result part all i wanted to do was the 30 days that i was in poland i wanted to represent india um in best way possible and uh, do my best rest the night that i perform on the stage it's the jury members it's the organizers who take a call and who decide the result so i all i had to do is just give my best so i actually did not worry about the result much even now when i think about it when i when i was standing on the stage when it was top 3 top 2 um i was just i was just happy that i was just grateful that okay i made it yes. top 5 I made it to top three. I made it to top two. Let's see how it goes. So I did not worry about results much. And you know what? When you're talking about this, I remembered the night you were crowned. I had tears in my eyes, Shrindi, because I have seen your journey honestly, and I was like, Shrindi has to win because you are such a beautiful person, and you made all of us proud. And thank you so much for that for reminding us of that moment when we heard India it is. that was what a moment what a moment that was uh, i don't know for for a, for a second you just go blank because uh, first of all they don't call you with your name they call india so you're yes. so blank and uh, then you take some time to realize that you actually won shrinji all all this uh, while you were fighting for this you were you were trying to get this and it is actually yours so it takes some time to realize that i remember even coming back to room and i had the crown next to me and i'm like this was the blue crown that i was actually dreaming about day and night and i actually got this so it took a while to realize but uh, it was beautiful and a good memory are you in touch with any of your of your queens or any of the other country contestants co contestants whatsapp group we do uh, talk the times such crisis times and you know what everybody is doing and how they are creating awareness and all of that uh, i do uh, talk to miss indonesia intan okay uh, wow she keep posting her pictures on insta so yeah we are just connected through social medias um, miss venezuela miss philippines uh, miss sri lanka so many of them yeah actually we do talk Also, she did not many know that you were unwell during your pageant. You know, so what oh, was it that kept you going? Yeah, you were very unwell, and during the finale night also. So was it? What was it that kept you going? How how do you know this? <laughs> well, this is a pageant fans' question for you, wow. and we also know that that story. So what had happened was, um, I was this extra. a uh, happy kid who saw the snow for the first time and uh, i had to step out and i had to touch the snow and you know play around and all of that i knew that this i mean my finale was in two days and obviously i felt sick i had a very bad cold and i had uh, temperature too i had fever a uh, sore throat and uh, i was feeling very weak i think it was just a flu that you know um, i got because of uh, being outside during the snow and extreme cold weather and all of that uh so i was really weak i i could not you know i literally could, we had rehearsals in the morning and uh, i was so weak my eyes eyes were all red and uh, i had no energy my mouth was all dried up uh, but i kept pushing as like okay let's hydrate myself let's just keep drinking water and i think uh, uh, somebody from the team from the super team they actually gave me a tablet too i was like oh god i just had to fall sick today on the finale night i had to fall sick why god why and uh, somehow somehow i think i just closed my eyes and then i 
this is one opportunity that i that i'm getting where thousands of girls are dreaming uh, to be here and i am here representing my country doesn't matter fever cold doesn't matter just just go perform so that's what i did get went enjoyed uh, looked around looked at all the 70 girls uh, they were all very good friends we had some amazing time so everybody is smiling everybody is giving high fives and everybody is chilling those happy beautiful faces just cheered me up i'm like okay let's just go let's just go. all right now you have a message from myra she says you have made our country proud one hearts as a queen and also as an actress we love you myra is your biggest fan because she has been flooding my inbox with so thank many you, messages to you thank you so much you have been actually supporting us throughout uh, my yes. pageant day viva supra even after that thank you so much for all your support and for all your love thank you Now this is the last question from fan side of uh, Pageant and Glamour wants to know you traveled various countries as Miss Supranational which one you enjoyed the most and one country you would love to visit which you couldn't during your reign Well um I think um uh, I've traveled around probably uh 9 to 10 countries 10 to 11 okay um so each country I Uh, i have something really special to hold on to or to remember so everything um, was a beautiful journey but i think to pick one country probably let me just think where and all i've been <laughs> i think it should be poland because poland is one place that i kept traveling to and fro and um, after you know after a, some point it just became like my home it's the moment i knew that oh i have to go to poland i'm like okay i know where i'm staying i know where the office is you know where the team is and all of that so i had this time in poland apart from that i should be actually telling thailand because thailand is where i actually stayed for 15 days uh, it was okay. one of the hectic trip but it was one of the best because we uh, uh, we did a lot of things we actually did a lot of things in, uh, during the long trip it was beautiful and the country wow. that I- I have missed probably I would love to go was we were planning to travel to Belgium or Hungary which actually got cancelled I would have loved to be there in Belgium or Hungary. Wow. <laughs> All right, honestly, Shreendi, I don't want to end this chat, but since we had this half an hour slot, um, any last thought or anything you want to say to all your fans, be it KGA, be it Rocky as Rock Rocky fans or your Cobra film fan. any message for everyone even the pageant fans watching you so for all uh, for all the people who are waiting for cobra movie which is my tamil movie um because of you know this crisis everything has been postponed uh, but uh, uh, you all are going to fall in love with the movie so just keep waiting keep supporting and keep waiting uh, and for all my kgf fans yellro kaithiru riku um as for i mean as of now the date has been fixed to october 23rd the release date but we don't know if there's any update or not the production team will announce that but uh, it's something really it's it's something it's something it's it's a magic so you guys will have to wait and watch um amile all kannadiga ru elrigu elru is support maartiddakke ishtu preeti thorsidakke elrigu dhanyavadagalu be safe be um just stay inside just follow it follow the rules um i know that it took a lot of time for people to understand the impact of corona to understand the situation they they did take lightly in the beginning because you know people were not aware of it yeah. but we all have to fight it together and we all have to do it in order to come out of it so just let's all stay in and do our bit when when other people are struggling at the forefront at least we can do our bit is to stay sure, and all thank the fans you so much been, yes. uh, supporting unconditionally loving unconditionally and i know um, you guys are the ones who keep pushing all our girls miss india or miss diva all our winners and all our international pageant winners you guys are the ones who keep pushing them uh, just keep doing your uh, uh, you know uh, the and enc- keep just keep doing this because i think it gives a lot of uh, encouragement and it actually motivates all the girls out there so i think just keep continuing your good job, good work perfect thank you so much shreedi for your time it was lovely chatting with you 
Uh, you have been amazing and I'm your biggest oh, fan I would say this. I have worked with you and I love you. We love you Srinidhi. Love you, love you. Take care, love you. Bye, take care. All right, so that was Srinidhi Shetty for you. Thank you so much everyone for showering so much of love. Um, let us know who you would want to see next on Supra Chat Live with Pri. And once again, thank you so much for all your love and support. We all love you. Keep watching and keep following my Supra National page. Have a great time. Bye.